Good evening, people. Watch Women 65. Lisa Boyce, I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten Son that whosoever Believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Once you come to the end of yourself and admit you're a sinner in need of a Savior, it's only one, that's Jesus Christ. Put your faith and trust in him. Make him Savior. <laughs> Make him your Savior. The Holy Spirit will uh, come and indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption, which means you cannot lose your salvation. You will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. The Holy Spirit will change you. And that's the gospel, period. You don't add to it. You don't take away from it. You just believe in what he's done for you at the cross. And you're saved. People want to make more of it than what it really is. And it's, it's really quite simple. I got to give you this article. Um, the range was fun. Uh, Cody did well. Very well. Uh, we both did. So that was good. So a little bit, I, t I tried to warn him of the recoil when he, because this was his first time shooting. When he shot, it he did very well, very well. I was I was surprised, um, but he didn't know how hard the recoil was when he, because that was his first time shooting. And I told him, I said, you're going to be surprised. And sure enough, he was surprised. But he handled it well. He did very well for his first time. Um, Vladimir Putin. Russian citizens are now being prepped for nuclear war. Russian citizens are now being prepped for nuclear war. So this is saying right here, and this is uh, off of um, Daily Beast. So this is saying... And it's it's off. Also, another news uh, organization has it as well. The rhetoric on Kremlin-funded television is amping up the sense of urgency around President Vladimir Putin's NATO alt ultimatum. He gave NATO an ultimatum. Olga Skabiva, the host of TV 60 Minutes said Tuesday, the level of anxiety has reached its maximum. We're 20 days away from the exp ex uh, expiration of the ultimatum, and the stakes are rising. Even though it seems they couldn't be any higher. One day after Moscow submitted a draft of its Russian-U.S. security treaty containing demands that NATO roll back its military deployments in Europe and deny memberships to Ukraine and other post-Soviet countries, Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ray, um, I always mess his name up, just say Sergei, threatened that Moscow would rise to stakes if the West didn't treat his demands seriously. Yesterday, he told Interfax the, uh, that Russia needs answers urgently because the situation is very difficult pro kremlin propagandists and state media expert filled in the blanks with what kind of escalation should be expected on sunday's edition of news of the week state tv host dimitri explained russia prepared and handed over to the americans its proposals on strategic stability, or more simply, on the prevention of nuclear war. Since we are already at a critical point. To be honest, it's simple. The U.S. and NATO must roll back. 
from our borders and create symmetrical, unacceptable risk. If you put a gun in our hand, in, if it says here, <laughs> if you put a gun to our head, we will respond in kind. Folks, this is a direct threat. It says the whole point is that the development of Ukrainian territory by the Western Bloc is not only Ukraine's business. This is a complete breakdown of the global balance which poses an existential threat to Russia. In other words, for Russia, it is a matter of life and death. We simply will not allow we simply will not allow it regardless of the cost to us and regardless of the cost. Listen to this very carefully. This is, I'm telling you, this man is not playing. It says, we simply will not allow it regardless of the cost to us and regardless of the cost to those responsible for it. Dmitry um, Notorious for his previous assertion that Russia is the only country that can reduce the U.S. to a pile of radioactive ash. Revisited its beloved argument to explain why the United States will be uh, willing to entertain Putin's unreasonable uh, proposition. He asserted that Russia is willing to suffer any consequences and go to any lengths to get what it wants. Never before has anyone published the text of the proposed treaties. But never before in the 21st century has the situation been so acute and the risk so great. Non-standard situations require non-standard approaches. Secondly, we're holding very strong cards in our hands. Our hypersonic uh, weapons are guaranteed to produce a response that is so unpleasant for America to hear. Being reduced to radioactive ash. Folks, when I read that, I got chills. They're threatening the U.S. with nuclear war. That is what that is. If you didn't hear this, let me repeat what, what he just said. Our hypersonic weapons are guaranteed to produce a response that is so unpleasant for America. For America to hear. Being reduced to radioactive ash. Putin ordered two nuclear-capable long-range bombers to fly into European airspace this weekend as they were dispatched to uh, patrol Belarus. Just a week ago, Russia warned that it would uh, redeploy intermediate-range nuclear weapons on its western flank in striking distance of Central Europe. For the first time since they were uh, banned in 1987 treaty between Presidents Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev. There have also been grim signs of things to come from the Russian government. A new national standard for urgent burial of corpse in peacetime and wartime has been introduced by the government in recent months. This is crazy. It will come into force on February 1st, just a couple of months from now, and specifies the burial in mass graves to be dug by bulldozers disposing of as many as thousands as a thousand bodies in a 24-hour period. Bodies are to be placed in four layers, either in bags, wooden coffins, or zinc coffins prepared in advance and subsequently covered with dirt. Then the mass graves will be compacted with a bulldozer filled with mineral binder and equipped with devices for the absor absorption and neutralization of radioactive hazardous 
chemical and biological agents formed during the decomposition of corpse. Folks, this is insane. This is utterly insane. And he is threatening the U.S. with this right now. Russia's government agency responsible for the creation of the new standard did not respond to the journalist's inquiries as to the purpose behind this effort. Military expert Alexander Goltz told newspaper, um, Russian newspaper, those who prepared these standards thought in terms of either global uh, ep epidemic or a global war in which not only the military but also the civilian population would die. This is only possible with the, with the use of nuclear weapons. Um, this... <laughs> I, I'm speechless at this. I didn't go all the way. I didn't read all the way down. I read only a little bit of this. So we're read, I'm reading this with you together. This is insane right now. And as far as I'm concerned, we've got to be raptured out of here. Former uh, Miller, and don't, you know what? Don't sit there and say, oh, this is not going to happen. He's just full of hot air. That's a bunch of BS. Because I'm telling you right now, like I said this morning and like I've said in the past, we've got a weak administration. This man could care less. And I'm talking Biden. He don't care anything. The man don't even know his head from a hole in the ground. I mean, you have the squad. You got this administration who thinks the Lion King was actually a documentary. That's what Newt Gingrich said. And I, I, I was in tears. I was laughing so hard. Oh, my gosh. This is ridiculous. Oh, my goodness. I, you know what? <laughs> Reading this. This is insane. Former military spokesman Victor Bar uh, Baronets concurred and added. He concurred and added. It may turn out that we will have to send troops not only uh, to some of these regions over there, but also to greater Ukraine. We have a flaming fuse in the Black Sea region. There are also dangers in the region of Belarus and concerns in the uh, Kaliningrad region. NATO has plans for the immediate capture of the Kaliningrad region, even with the use of nuclear weapons. And how then will we bury one by one or what, he added. We're getting ready. And this says we're getting ready for a major crisis. Folks, I'm going to tell you something right now. If you don't know Christ, you better get to know him. You better believe in what he did. You better accept him as Savior. Right now, because whether we go up my nuclear or whether we get raptured, one or both is coming soon. That's the truth. I'm not trying to scare you. This is good news for the church, because if you know Christ, you're going to be face to face with him at any time. The way this is going. Face to face any time now. Propagandists on Russian state-funded TV stressed that Moscow is now approaching the West from a position of strength. Discussing the Kremlin's bold and unreasonable ultimatums to the U.S. and its allies. This is a moment of truth in our relations with America in which we move on to complete reciprocity from a position of strength. We simply designate a cause and effect relationship. This is how it will be. Now, 
I saw a glimpse of this, I think, last week or the other day. Biden is not giving in to him under no circumstances. Now it says, this is a moment of truth with our relations that we move on complete uh, reciprocity from a position of strength. We simply designate a cause and and effect relationship. This is how it will be with brazen arrogance of a seasoned mobster borrowed from the movie The Godfather. Russian top propagandists concluded, you over there in the U.S., NATO, and in the European Union decide for yourself. Is Russia making an offer that can't be making you an offer that can't you can't refuse? How interesting. On Saturday, Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Alexander uh, Grushko discussed Putin's ultimatum to the United States and NATO with pro-Kremlin propagandist Vladimir Solovev, who uh, donned a red hoodie and uh, blazoned with a Soviet hammer and sickle emblem. In the episode of um, entitled, uh, this is a show they're talking about. The moment of, they're talking actually, and this was on there, I guess this was on one of their news things. The moment of truth has come. We have reached the red line. And our proposals aim to pull us away from the red line and start normal dialogue that will put security interests in the, at the forefront. In other words, this is what he's saying. And let me, let me summarize all this in one word. If the U.S. don't respond to Russia's demands, he's going to nuke the crap out of everybody, including his own people. Who does that sound like? Yeah, it rhymes with Hitler. On Monday, in response to the question as to whether Russia would deploy nuclear weapons to Belarus, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry told journalists it's no secret that the deployment of various kinds of weapons near our borders, which can pose a danger to us, clearly requires adequate steps to balance the situation. Various options are available. I'm going to link this in the description box. Folks, there is a situation right now that is going nuclear on every front. You have this fool who has gone off the deep end. You have a demented fool in the White House that don't know his head from anything, anything. And you have China, of course. So we're about to be raptured soon. I said that either, you know, we're either we're going to be raptured out of here real quick or we're going to be nuked or both. You know, when they come in, we go up. That would be awesome. It brings me to the verse. To live as Christ and to die is gain. Where is that verse at? Let me find that. It brings me to that verse. Philippians 121. Let me get that in the King James Version. Philippians 121. And it's true. So it says here. And I'm going to read this to you, starting with verse 20. According to my earnest expectation, this is Paul speaking, according to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with all boldness as always, so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. For to me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. That's how I feel. I'm going to link this article in the description box. 
and anything else comes up, I will be on it. Unless I'm asleep, then I will be on it. Folks, it is really time to wake up and get saved. And the only way to do that is to believe in what Christ has already did for you at the cross. Accept, accept the gift of grace by accepting his death, burial, and resurrection. It's that simple. Don't make it more complicated than it is because that'll get you a ticket to hell. It's not complicated. The gospel's not complicated. Period. I'll be back with the next video. Thank you.